what am I making? I'm making a uh, compost pile, I reckon. Hey, will you bring me some of those bricks right there? I'm not sure how many. Thank you. A couple things I'm gonna try to work on today is I'm gonna try to take some pallets and maybe set up a, um, like a compost bin maybe. I'm thinking about doing like two bins side by side. I'll explain in a minute. When we built the house here, I saved a bunch of pallets and I got a couple some, some uh, pallets from a guy I work with. And probably in this area here, I imagine, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm gonna set it up down here. Oh, uh, just, just throw them right here. Yeah. Maybe bring me a couple more. How many you got? Four. Goodness gracious. I don't want to drop them on my toes. Definitely don't don't drop them on your toes. I already dropped one on my toes for the journey. Okay. You can just lay them down right there. No, no, no. Okay. Don't put them on top of each other. There you go. Good job. Thank you. Is that how much you need? That's probably all. Thank you. Okay, here, yeah, okay. Mom, I was going to be holding on to the two that were in the middle. Okay, don't knock my camera over. Okay. Don't shake you know, it. I know how to drive. Don't shake it. You know how to drive. Huh? Oh. Wow. It's easy. You take the steering wheel and turn where you need to go. You don't have to turn it if you want to go straight. All you do is let go and it'll go straight. Oh, really? Uh huh. Who taught you how to drive? Nobody. Whatever. You. I want to help him and help him. <laughs> Daddy, I have an idea. What? If we have the chick, and oh. if you check the weather and it's raining, we can do this. We can put that over top of that and put that over top of that. It's possible. See in here, Malaysia, I got a bunch of, uh, let's put it in a light. I got a bunch of just leftover screws and brackets and okay. stuff like that. Can I have this? No, I'm going to need that eventually. Hi. So what are we going to do? Oh, you can hold it next. We're going to have the show the turkey. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Here, gobble, gobble, gobble. yeah. Malaysia. What? Uh-huh. And Daddy said, here we go. Coming. Okay, we said. Can you see me? No, I can't. Well, so we can... Okay, yeah, okay. Thank you. So I think I've got the spot and kind of the layout made up, figured out. Plan is to put two pallets as a backing and then probably put one pallet here as an edge, another pallet over here as an edge, and then maybe a dividing pallet right here and make it two compartments. Compost in here and then move it over here as I turn it.
Huh, he went right in between Journey's legs Whoa. and started digging. Hey, uh -uh. Come uh -uh. Drop it. Come here. Drop it. Yeah. Dog stole my stuff. Don't let him yeah, don't let Timber steal my, my Look, he's food. digging because my and Journey were digging. Thank you, baby. Thank you. <laughs> he got some in his nose, so he jumped. He's exhausted. <laughs> what is that crazy dog doing? I don't know, but he's gonna end up jumping back. Look at him, he sneezes after he puts his nose on. Look, he's gonna sneeze, it's gonna be so funny. What is that dog doing? Timber, what you doing? What are these three crazy people doing? You do a really good for a, for a puppy. Oh, Alright, who's got the biggest hole? Timber. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, Timber, he, he's definitely the winner. Here's the better way to do it. Hold like this, and then put your hand up here. See? Let's do another one. Like this? Yeah. Push down. Oh, oh. Yeah, it works. One on top, one on the bottom. Straight up and down. It's got to be straight up and down. Can I put it on my yeah. knee or something? No, you can right here, like that. There you go. Just barely push the trigger. Again, keep on. Up and down. Great job. Oh, see, see how it does when it gets, yeah, it gets in there. Mm -hmm. When you get close to, uh, when it gets close to going down all in the wood like that. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, good job. Okay, help me pick this up. Come right here on this end. Okay, pick it up. Okay. Now we gotta slide it back here. We wanna put it kind of right here in the middle. See, it's got like almost like you said, almost looks like a stable, don't it? But it's not a stable. Mm, that's almost looks like. Now get one of those bricks. Remember I had you bring me those bricks? Grab one of those bricks for me. One? Okay. Just one. You see how I got the bricks under that one? Mm -hmm. Put it right here under that one, the same way, please. I think I need a little bit more. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good, lady. Lady. Yay, thank you. What I you, look stable. What do you think? Good. Mariana, honey. Yeah. They look like stables, don't they? Right, it's got to go this way, mm -hmm. son. Because a horse could kick it down. <laughs> yeah. Not so like a stable that no horse are in, like a puppy. Yeah. Eh, Timber would shoot through it. What I'm gonna do right here is to hold it steady like this. I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some like that. You know what I'm saying? Timber. So you can hold it like that. I'll let you do the other side in a minute. Okay? Go 
doing a great job. Thank you. I'll put it about right there. So I'll tell you now. Put it right here. Come here, Johnny. You want to do this one? Turn on. Okay, hold like this. Remember, push it with the trigger like that. Yep. And what you want to do? Go to your knees. Okay. Make sure it fits in there like that in that groove. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta make sure it's in there. Now you got a hold of it tight. Hold it with two hands. There you go. Now push in, push in. There you go. <laughs> do you want to do a little more? Okay. This time let's do it together. I'll let Malaysia hold the hold the camera this time. Hold it real steady. Hold it real steady right there. You see the screen? Can you see her? Okay, you wanna get you get Malaysia on camera. He go, I mean journey on camera. All right, go down, we'll do it together. And I'll tell you when, okay? Can you see Malaysia? No. Wait, oh yes. Yeah. Okay, now go. Okay, let go. Good job, good job. See, it's all the way in now. Excellent. My turn. Excellent. High five. My turn too. High five. Low five. Can I do one? Okay. Okay, back up. Bring it to the top. Flush with that. Like I got that one. Flush means level. There you go. Remember what I said, honey? You gotta get the, uh, you gotta get it in the groove, right? Mm -hmm, like this. Okay, and put it straight in the groove and put your shoulder up against it, like it. Keep your head back because you don't want no, nothing to come into your eye. Here you go. Don't worry Just, uh, like that? Like that, yeah. And then now, don't, don't hold the trigger down. Just push the trigger a few times. There you go. A little short burst like that. There you go. Okay, here's the, here's the other trick. When you put it in the groove like that, when you put it in the groove like that, make sure it's groove. Take your left hand and put it right here. Like that right there. And push in with that left hand and with that right hand. Push them both that way. Okay. And then now pull the trigger a little bit at a time. Not full. Pull the trigger. There you go. Keep going. Keep pushing. Oh. You can put it back in the groove. There you go. Now you got to push a little harder. Okay. Is it in the groove? Mm -hmm. Okay. Push hard. Push it hard. There you go. Okay, stop. Excellent. Yay. Yay. Excellent. Good job. Okay. So let's think about what else we can do. Is this, hey, is this moving right here? Uh, yeah. Okay. So maybe, what if we put, what if we put one right here? Yeah. You know? And that might help it be a little more stable. What do you think? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. So remember, so you got, here's my, here's my thinking here. It's push in hard right here. And then use your left hand right here. Put your left hand on it. There you go. Push in hard and then pull the trigger. You gotta put, oh, you gotta push in hard, sister. You gotta make sure it's on like that. Make sure it's in the groove, right? Which it's not. There you go. All right, and put, put your body up against there. Put your hand push in. And now push it. Go. Okay. Right here. Yeah, remember, you gotta keep it level. So if you go like this, See how it jumps out? If you go over here, it jumps out. It's got to be straight like that. And that way it won't come out of the little grooves right there. Now push, go. It's not in the grooves. Yeah. I'm going to let you get it in the grooves, okay? There you go. Oh, make sure it's in the grooves. There you go. Good job. Push it. Okay, get it back in the groove. Make sure it's in the groove. And push really hard. Hard. Oh, oh, make sure it's in the groove. You gotta make sure it's in the groove or it's gonna strip it. See how you see that little flakes of metal? It means it's getting stripped. So, yeah. Okay, okay. Very good. Very good job. <laughs> you like you're blowing a smoking gun. That's messed up. Did you open it by yourself? Yeah. Great job. Zero out cookies and crackers. And what did I get? I think I'm gonna get crackers, no crackers.
You can have one of my crackers. I'm okay, thank you. I was just joking. I was just saying if you give me something. It's fine. Okay. No, I'm okay, honey. I don't, I'm, like, I'm not hungry, actually. Mm -hmm. A bit's about stripped, unfortunately. That's fine. Oh. I got other ones. I'll go off. Okay. okay. I think we're good, baby. Okay, so this is just an old ragged compost bin that I made from some scrap uh, pallets that I got from some places. And just leftover stuff and really all this material is left over, the screws and the brackets and the two by four braces, all that's just leftover stuff from other projects or from the, the house build and some other stuff. Uh, so obviously used what, five pallets here. And the idea is to begin compost in one bin and when it needs to be turned just transfer it over to the other bin and again from there possibly start another compost pile and could extend it more and keep you know keep turning and rotating possibly or just rotate it back and forth not sure um actually I'm really new to compost haven't haven't really done anything with it just piddled a little bit in the past and so give a little tour of it though you know, I did use some some of these L brackets that I had left over just to give a little bit of stability. But really, the stability is going to come from these two by four brackets here. The same thing here. It was offset a little bit because I'm on a hill, so I had to, you know, engineer a little bit here. But uh, I think it'll hold just fine. And just use those bricks in the bottom. My daughter helped me on it, so it's a good little project to do together. And here in the center, the center pallet, you can see it's smaller, which I don't mind. It's what I had to work with, but honestly, it's not bad because the higher the pile gets, the uh, more narrow it gets anyway. So that's why I used the little pallet, pallet in the middle. And uh, with this pallet, though, man, it only had like a couple rungs. If you can see it down here, in this horizontal runs, it had one, two. That's it. So all this, all this right here was just empty. So, man, uh, soil and stuff and compost was just you know fell right through so some scrap um sheet board here i think it looks good for what it is what i need it for and it's in the right area again here well i've got you know some wood chips and uh, some stuff got some leaves get some grass clippings in the summer and throw in here and when uh, again once we clean out the chicken coop in a deep litter method i guess we can throw it in here like i said i'm definitely new composting so it'll be an experiment looking forward to it <laughs> 